Conor Gallagher, we haven't even spoken about this. As of now, there is no contract talks between Chelsea and Conor Gallagher with 18 months of his contract left. He is set to become a free agent at the end of next season and will also almost certainly be the subject of fresh transfer interest in January if no significant progress is made on a new contract. Um, Jacob, I'll make a video on that. That's a good idea. I'll make a video on that. But yeah, Conor Gallagher, no contract talks just yet. Be interesting to see how Chelsea react to his improvement, especially if he continues to show this form in the next few games. On one hand, you are easily getting 50 million for him. Maybe even more if he shows that consistency and if, if he continues to build up on it. But on the other hand, though, if he continues to improve, there's an even bigger argument towards keeping him. And I see it. Even, even as a squad player, I think he improves us if he's playing at this level week in and week out and continues to improve. We just got to gauge it over the next few games. Now, um, Simon Phillips reported that Liverpool are one of the Premier League clubs interested in Conor Gallagher. And I do expect there to be more interest in him, especially if he hasn't re-signed by January. I just want, I wonder what Chelsea's plans are going to be with him, especially seeing as Pochettino has now been reported to have the final say on transfers. We know how much he rates Conor Gallagher. Will he have the final say on letting Gallagher go? I don't think so. I don't think so. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. What would you guys do? Would you guys sell Gallagher in January? Or would you guys keep him? Yeah, man, bro, you already know me. I don't run with agendas. All I want is for players to improve. Gallagher was a bag of crap last season. This season, you are blind if you haven't seen improvement. You are blind. Straight blind. Like, that would be an agenda. That would be a fat agenda. That guy's been balling out. Just, I need him to be more consistent. Keep that Arsenal performance and make that a week-in, week-out level. That's what I want. So we're saying keep, sell, keep. How can you sell your best? For... I think you're going too far, but I'd still keep. I'd still keep. I'm with you on that. Um, Warrior wants to sell. Bulldog, keep, keep. Man said sell and... Okay, so you're just trolling. Scott would still sell. Fair enough. Keep him. Um, it would hurt the team at this point to sell him. If he doesn't sign a new deal... Yeah, yeah. ultimately, it's going to lead to that. If he doesn't re-sign, we're going to get rid of him. But... As of right now, I don't know if I'd let go of him in January. I don't know if I'd let go of him in January. Even with the likes of Nkuku coming back, for example. Next few games will say a lot, though. Next few games will say a lot. Because if he, if he brings that performance to Tottenham, to Man City, to Newcastle, and we get results, then I don't know if, I don't know if you can get rid this early. I don't know if you can. Do not sell him. Uh, best midfielder. Best midfielder this season. Letting go in January would be self-sabotage. Big up, Mitchie boy. You know the game. Every time. Every time. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Because I think there's going to be even more people pushing for him to re-sign if he continues his form. The reason why it wasn't the same energy with Mount was because Mount was playing like dog shit last season. Gallagher, no. He, he's saying, this is why you need to re-sign me. And he's improving. He's playing a lot better. Like I've been saying, like, three 100 million plus midfielders on the pitch on Saturday, and the three Cobham graduates was better than all of them. Better than all of them. That's where we need the standard to be. And even if he isn't a starter for us and our best team, if that's the level he's performing at, there's no reason not to have him in the squad. No reason not to. 